Oh, welcome back. So we're at the factory in Italy this week. Uh, I've had a few weeks off actually. Just about to prep my race bike. I've rode it today for like an hour to just make sure everything's good. Change a few things on the suspension. I'm gonna wash it off, prep it. I'm gonna run through what I do to my race bike to get it ready for races. I have taken everything off it so I can give it a good clean. I've taken the bash plate off it here. I've taken the tank, I've put a filter cover on it and I'm just gonna blast it now with the world's hottest pressure washer. Oosh, makes life easy. Have you broken it? Well, this is a fantastic start, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> just a pusher. Yeah? Okay. Oh, I'm broken. Thank you. Right. Somebody <laughs> forgot to switch the water on. <laughs> By the way, I never ever wash my practice bike like this. This is only the race bike that gets this treatment. Practice bike gets a quick 10 minute in the garage. Off she goes. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Ooh, I forgot to take that out. That was lucky. What is it? Uh, the plastic off the bash plate because it would have gone down that drain. <laughs> I'm not very good at this, am I? You can tell I don't do this a lot. And I just basically get guided by people. Take your tank off and wash your bike. Okay. Right, the bike is washed. We've now blew it off with the airline. It's very important to get in these electrical connections all around here because we don't want water to sit in them. I need to, what do I need to put on the chain? Which, I need chain lube. What do I spray on my bike now when I'm finished? Chain lube, anything else? Only chain lube. Like this one on the footpack spring. Okay. And I'm dressed like a farmer because I've got my Wellington boots on now. Okay, the products on the foot pegs only. I'm like a f factory rider today and yesterday. Here, you video me. It's, should be, you, it's filming. LM40. On the foot well, Johnny, this, is, really this is farmer yeah. style. Johnny, Johnny. What? How you can put the... Uh, you know, it's not focused. No, no, it's, it's, there we go. A little bit on here. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I haven't washed them out very well. Any, anywhere else or is that it? Gear lever. Small spring on the gear lever. So this is how Luca, which is Stevie's Holcomb's mechanic, does his bike. Not how I do it, because I usually just rush it and it's done dead fast. Chain lube. This is the cockpit spray. Cockpit. I'm putting new plastics on tomorrow, so it's absolutely pointless. Oh my God. I'm putting fresh graphics on tomorrow. <laughs> this is totally pointless. Look at that. This is Galfer's fattest disc, five millimeters this disc. I think it says it on it. That's a, that's a fat boy disc. And then on the front, I've got the, um, on the front we have an oversized disc on my bike. I like to run an oversized disc. I started using it when I was at Romaniacs years ago because the downhills were so long and my front brake was getting hot. So we went for the oversized disc. There you go. 
Is that me done now? Everything done. Tomorrow, I have a big job of getting my bike ready for the race. But Lucas said he's gonna help me get everything done. And then we can go to the race. Do I need to put a new filter or is that okay? Oh. It's not, is it? Should I, can I race with that? No, I'll put a new one just because it's a race. Yo, so we are heading back to the bike place now, just after eight o'clock. Gonna go make a start on this race bike. To be honest, I don't have too much to do because I did loads of it the last few days. So, let's get it done. In through the door. It's filled. <laughs> James Davil. Steve Yelkin. Steed. I put a moose in a tyre yesterday to separate the bead a little bit so then it sits on the rim a little bit better. But here we go. Bike work day. I'm going to start off putting on new tyres. Get the shit jobs out of the way first. My front moose is too soft, so I've got a brand new Michelin M16. Because the other one is too soft. So I'll get that one done and the rear done. Then I can start doing the real jobs like sticking on stickers. So I put a f the same front tire on as yesterday because I only used it for like an hour and it's running nicely. Fresh moose, new front mud guard. A new disc on yesterday, that's done an hour. And then I've put in new brake pads now. New brake pads there, you can see brand new white ones from Galfa. <clears throat> and then basically just went through, greased this one, greased everything, and then also greased the, the piston things, because you've got to keep on top of them. Because when they get shit inside, the wheel doesn't spin very good. <laughs> So this is the tyre I'm putting on, the Super Soft, it's a brand new one, with, I have a drilled 120 Michelin Moose, which I'm not going to show you because it's a secret. I don't want anyone else seeing what I do to it, but it's drilled a few different directions, let's put it that way. So I'm just greasing the wheel, uh, the bearings, giving it a good clean out, and with SM Pro wheels, you'll notice that you, you have two spacers on your chain side you have a double bearing so the longer spacer is for the chain side don't forget that one i'm also going to put in new brake pads these are new ones the old ones aren't too bad but it's a race and they last a long time which is good i'm going to put a new fan on the bike because the bearing has gone shit and yesterday when I was riding it the bike was like vibrating when the fan was coming on. As soon as I stopped the bike and it was like there was no engine, you could feel the bike vibrating. So we'll fire a new one on. Can you just put a new bearing in? No. No. Okay. I have to put a new fan on. I'm going to show you my radiators that we made. This is the radiator. It doesn't look the best. Got the fan off. But I have like a rad brace welded onto the side. I race across the back and then we also didn't the radiator here so we have more steering lock because when I ran a rad brace it was on the front so I had less steering lock so we do that on both sides that one's obviously got more braces across see the steering lock goes in it's just gone 10 o'clock and it is cigarette break and coffee break <laughs> After your Italian coffee. <laughs> Buzz into work! Hey. Emily has now shown up having a little pit stop <laughs> for a brew and a biscuit. I've only got two, well I've eaten two. 
bit of a sucker for tea and digested meat. The bike is fully finished. Well, now I've got my bash plate to put on, but I need to take it off. I've spent the last two hours putting my graphics on, but they look perfect. New grips, I've wired them. I always leave a nice gap on the end because when I crash, the wire comes over the end and it pisses me off. So if you put it in, it doesn't do that. It just splits the end off. And I think that is it. She's ready to go. So job done. The bike is loaded. It's fully prepped. Um, I've persuaded Holcomb's mechanic to come and mechanic for me this weekend, which is amazing. Um, so I'm gonna go tomorrow, walk the track. He's gonna turn up on Saturday with spare parts and stuff like that. So I don't need to take anything. It's amazing. Right, peace out, hope you enjoyed the video.